That's my veil. I love those kind of tool veils in old Hollywood movies. This is my brutalist version of it. I didn't want it to be Hannibal Lecter, though. I wanted it to be a little bit pretty. How much do I love Rick Owens? You start out talking about his new collection, and no time at all you're talking about the brutalist art movement, or Marlena Dietrich performing in Las Vegas, or a fierce new rapper from Brooklyn. In other words, I'm getting an education. I'm going to take that bitch to college. I'm going to give that bitch some knowledge. I'm going to read Controlled savageness, a savage impulse that all of us can relate to, and all of us in our own little ways is always trying to suppress, and we're always a little bit curious and a little fascinated what would happen if we slipped. I'm not going for goth. I'm going for brutalism. Let's hope that kind of comes out. Those coats with the white fur patches and then the buffalo checks, it's like, those aren't things you see from Rick. And then all of a sudden he surprises you and he puts his colors of mango and camel in the middle of it. The hand that painted that show was one of a real artist. I'm a big admirer of, and I actually listen to Marlena every day. And Marlena, it's very much about creating a very controlled, beautiful image that takes a lot of discipline and a lot of dismissal of personal discomfort and kind of just creating kind of an insulated, powder puff, pink, ideal moment. You never think of the word Rick Owens and elegance, but it is that. And someone could actually wear Rick Owens all the time. You take one of those jackets that have the lantern sleeve and the blue thong back, and you put that with something else, and you might think it was Paris Haute Couture, which it kind of is. What do you think it is that appeals to people about Rick Owens as well? The edginess and the fact that, that when, uh, when you wear Rick Owens so is, is also recognizable, I think. It's a, a way not to have a logo, but it will be recognizable. Sometimes I think of myself as just kind of suppressing a lot of everything I've ever learned and just letting things evolve. I'm collecting ideas that we can all relate to and I'm rearranging them and making my own little compositions. The more I do them deliberately, the less they seem to work. So part of my growing up experience has been learning how much to let go.